Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are going to be having a look at this ridiculous Ford Raptor mud truck. Now, this is part of Frog's 2021 Ford Raptor pack that you can find more info about on his Patreon, which will be linked in the description box down below, along with his Discord. Now, we have come out here to Rock Runner's Mud Park to really put this thing through its paces, but before we do that, we're going to fire it up, get it into the garage, and see what all we can do to it in terms of customization, and also... I want to direct y'all's attention to these Baja Pro X tires. These look incredible on this truck. Absolutely amazing. But without any further ado, let's fire this thing up. It sounds so good. All right. Let's go ahead and run inside the garage real quick. And we are going to be taking the let's say, the shortcut to get to the mud pit with this thing because we're not going to take it all the way down the highway and then turn in from there. We have a much... Well, but then we missed the jump. Ooh, decisions. Okay, so we've already got the high-performance engine in there, which we definitely want. There is a highway and off-road transmission, but with this thing, normally with what you're going to be doing with it, I would recommend the highway transmission because it just allows you to have the higher wheel speed. And then suspension-wise, you have stock and then you also have no damage, and both of those are active. Now, tires-wise, you're going to start off on these 33-inch BFG all-terrains, which are essentially just going to be your kind of moving it around the lot sort of tires. Then you have, really, you have a full range of tires starting in 33, and then it goes up to these 51-inch mud tires, and actually, you can go 51, 55, and 59, and these are essentially just mud dedicated. Then you have these, which are a little bit more like a tractor tire. You have those in 51, 55, and 59. Then you have the stickies in the same sizes. And then you have a 51-inch Patagonia. You have a KM3. You have cut boggers. You have, like, M90 60s. It goes down the entire list in 51-inch size. And then that list repeats once you get to 59-inch. Now, once you get to 59-inch, that list, you can go all the way through it once again all the way to the bottom where you find these, the 59-inch Baja Pro Xs. And that is what we're going to be running on this thing for this particular video and test. Now, steps-wise, you have the stock steps and the KYX steps, which we have on there right now. The roof rack, which we also have up there. And then as far as taillights go, you have one option. Bedliner, you have a singular option. Hood, you can actually remove it if you would like to, but you can see, you know, once you remove the hood, you do have a pretty detailed engine in there. I'm going to put the hood back on, though. Roof lights, you have a circular light bar and a rectangular light bar. We're going to go with the Baja-style circular. Grill-wise, you have one grill option. LED headlights, you've got front fenders that are either standard or a cut fender that you can do. I'm kind of back and forth on these. I mean, on a truck this tall, I would probably just use the uh, the stock fenders because I don't really think we're going to get into the fenders anyway. Rear bumper-wise, we have the stock bumper, custom bumper one, let's see, LP tube bumper, um, the super low-profile tube bumper, and then, let's see, Velociraptor bumper, which looks really good, and another custom bumper. I really like this one, actually. This one, I think, looks really good. Tailgate-wise, you have a singular tailgate, but that tailgate is also animated. It goes up and down, which is super nice. Rear fenders-wise, you you have a cut option if you so desire. I'm going to leave the actual fenders on there for now. You also have this Armadillo chase rack. Then you have a bed cover. You have an LP bed rack. Uh, let's see. Skinny bed rack. You have a full-on overland bed rack and a chase rack. So I think what we're going to be doing with this build is I might actually put the bed cover on there. Now, front bumper-wise, you have a bumper guard. You have a, let's see, a proper brush guard, actually. Stock bumper, custom bumper one, tube bumper. It goes down the freaking list. It really really does. This custom bumper also looks really, really good, but I dig this one. That one looks great in my eyes. Now, in terms of wheels, you have a near endless selection. You really, really do. They're all huge on these tires, by the way. So let's see. I love the way the KMC L1s look, but I'm kind of back and forth on do I want to go for a deep dish style or do I want to go for a really function-minded style or do I want to go for like early to mid 2000s. That's that's all up to you. Like, we could go any way y'all feel with this build. I think I'm going to go with these uh, Fuel Zephyrs. I know they don't actually make them that big, but I think they look really good on this thing. Now, you could go with a bright red, bright green. Really, I mean, oh, dude, the bright purple looks really, really good. Really, at the end of the day, it's all up to your personal choice and personal taste as far as what color combination or color options you go with on this truck. I think it looks really good in red, but I think it also looks really good in green. And I also really like the bright orange. The bright orange I think really suits the character and the quality of this truck. Now, I'm going to go ahead and throw the bobble dar up there on the dash. And now, I think it's time we take this thing for a quick drive. 
it sounds so good. Like, this thing is on a level with sound that, like, oh, man. Now, I know that we've heard this particular soundtrack before on some other mud trucks, but it really does feel right at home on this one. It, 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 it really sounds perfect for it. And I know I originally said I wasn't going to take the highway, but... I kind of, you know, I thought about it a little bit more, and I was like, you know, the highway leads to the jump, and what better way to kick this off than to send this thing off the jump out here at Rock Runners Mud Park? It just makes so much sense. Oh, man, I kind of wish that, like, okay, there we go. High range has some pace to it. I wasn't sure if it was going to be faster to leave it in automatic or throw it in high, and I think I certainly got my answer. Let me whip it in through these corners. Whoa, all right, easy. All right, before we do anything else, this thing is getting fully sent off the jump. Let's go. Roll into it. Come on. Let's go. Oh, is it going to go over? Yep, it's going to go over. Well, maybe not. I don't know. It actually slid on its nose. It slid on its nose really, 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 really far, actually. I'm going to have to manually pull this thing back over because the only way we're going to be able to get it back onto its wheels is by winching to the back and then winching from the side and doing, you know, some sort of weird winch combination. Hopefully the front end isn't too messed up because we don't have dev tools on this map. So because we don't have dev tools, things are going to get a little bit sketchy a little fast. All right, let's put it back in automatic mode. Oh, really? Is that a... Okay, never mind. That's a solid tree. I was like, really? It's gonna, like, actually winch me to a non-solid tree? Thanks for that. Uh, apparently, it didn't want to do it there either. Let me pull it back over. Dude, this thing is determined to not let me flip it over. Hold on. Can I help that by bringing the suspension down? Maybe a little bit, but not enough to where it's, like, really gonna make a difference. Hold on. Can you, like... What about if I winch from the roof? Like, if I just straight up winch from the roof, is it gonna do it? And the wheels are trying to hook the ground, but it's not really doing much. Okay, yep, this is apparently not going to work. Back to the garage we go, and we're going to go back across the river through the woods. That seems like it's going to make not only make more sense, but really? Really? What the heck is that about? Um. Um. Okay. There we go. That was strange. It would not let me actually press A. Like... To lift this thing up, like, or, well, to even let me out of the garage. It refused to even let me out. I was like, what the heck are you doing, dude? Now, if we go through this creek right here, I say creek. To most vehicles, it's a river. To this thing, it's only a creek. Let's make our way through. This will grant us access to the main mud pit, which is directly in front of us. Which, with this thing, I'm not even going to strategize it. I'm going to send it straight in. And apparently, I should have strategized because... That put me into a, a world of issue real fast. Luckily, there's a there's a good friend over here that can help flip us back over. Apparently, I should have strategized a lot more than I originally did. Can you, like, follow me, please, and thank you? Oh, my God. That thing does not want to, like, flip back over at all. It is just dedicated to not flipping over. Man, it is so mad at me. It is legitimately so mad at me. Like, this truck does not want to flip back onto its wheels. And I'm sure there's going to be somebody out there that's going to be like, oh, it's just because you can't drive. And I'm like, well, you know, sometimes, sometimes things like this happen in SnowRunner. Let me see if I can do a, just a full-on yeet. There we go. Oh, my God. No. No, 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 no. Not even about the, uh, not even about the siren on this thing, but more about the fact that, like, the second I pulled that thing over, all it wanted to do was, well, flip the opposite direction. All right, I think I can do it this time. I'm not gonna tighten it up. There we go. All right, stop right there, get back into the Raptor, and then now we're good to go. All right, let's do a, a take two on that main mud pit right now and see if we can actually do it without flipping ourselves over. And... Come on, full send. Was I really in? Wow. It felt like the front wheels were not powered. Like, it literally felt like the front wheels were not spinning. It's making its way through. It's not making its way through very fast, but it is making its way through. Now, I'm sure we'll be going a little bit faster if we were on those really skinny, uh, like those really, really, really skinny, like, agricultural tires. Because those, for whatever reason, this game treats its mud physics in a really weird way where the narrower your tires are, the faster it allows you to drive through the mud. 
And again, it, it it's almost like it acts like if you have really wide tires, you cannot drive fast through mud whatsoever. But if you have really skinny ones, you're good. You're fine. And I've never really figured out why. And I mean, I'm sure that someone that has messed around with the game's physics a lot would know why. I'm not entirely sure why the game does that, but it's definitely an odd quirk about this physics system. I wish that there was a little bit more info on why it did that, but there really isn't much. Right, let's make our way out of here real quick. Oh, it's trying to stall on me. It's weird. I keep thinking I'm not in all-wheel drive. But, like, every time, every time I try to turn the all-wheel drive back on, it's like, oh, yeah, by the way, it's already on. And I'm like, are you, are, are you serious, though? Like, is it, is it actually already on? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. All right, let's give these obstacles a try, because these are wild. We could also go and park on top of people's tents, but I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to, like, be that guy. All right, let's see if we can go ahead and ease this on out of the hole. Let's go! It takes it a while to spin up, like, to really get the wheels spinning. Oh, this is going to be a slow go through here. I mean, it'll make it, I'm sure, but it is not going to make it through fast. It is most certainly not going to make it through fast. Let me see if I can find just a little bit of grip by working the steering back and forth. It kind of works, but not to the extent that you might think it does. Just trying to feel for the grip at the front axle. About to make our way down through this mud pit. Th these mud pits are gnarly, though. Like, if you've never been on Rock Runners Mud Park, which if you haven't, I highly recommend it. It's one of the best mud maps in the game. Definitely try some of these mud pits in particular because they are, like, some of the most difficult you can go. I think that the mud in these mud pits in particular is about as thick as it is humanly possible to make it in the map editor. I, I'm pretty sure it is anyway. Rockrunner can correct me in the description box down, or not in the description box, sorry, in the comment section down below if I'm incorrect on that, but I believe that this is pretty dang close to max thickness and depth in terms of mud. I'm trying to use a little bit of winch line encouragement right there. Not too much because I don't want to rely entirely on the winch, but just give it a little bit of a suggestion. Just a tiny bit. Just a hair. Once we make our way over this lumber, though, it should clear up a good bit. And then after that, we're going to go to the other side of the river because there's some really, really cool obstacles over there that I have yet to ever even try in this particular truck. So let's make it up and over these logs. Come on. Oh, it's slipping a bunch on the logs. Let's see if I can... Oh, yeah. I tried to put it in high and just let the wheel speed carry us out, but even on the other side of the logs, the wheel speed just makes you sink literally immediately. And again, it's probably down to the fact that I chose these tires that are a little bit wider than the dedicated mud tires. And if I was really looking for, like, you know, mud racing performance or something like that, I, I would have gone for uh, the other tires. But because of the fact that I really wanted this thing to look a certain way, and I really loved the way these Baja Pro Xs look, I was like, ah, I'm going to go with those. That'll be fine. It'll be all good. Right, let me make my way across the bridge now. I'm just going to put it in high. I feel a lot more comfortable just putting it in high and leaving it there because the automatic mode seems to not want to shift up as much as I would like it to. A little bit of airtime onto the bridge. Not bad. This thing's suspension tuning is wild. Absolutely wild. Now, there is a jump at the end of this straightaway that I have always had... I've always had a lot of fun no matter what I've sent off of this jump. It's either created flip scenarios or created just massive airtime. Let's see. Oh, God, that's going to be a flip. Yep, that's going to be a big old flip. Oh, my God, we actually made it over? I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that even a little bit. I was expecting this thing to just completely, like, honestly not even be able to drive out of there. The fact that we drove out of there literally already exceeded my expectations. Bro, we got the power lines down here. We got the hill climb. We got to hit at least one of the hill climbs before we wrap up this test. We got to hit at least one of the hill climbs. Man, the mud along the power lines is also insanely deep. Definitely wouldn't recommend going in there with anything less than a top-end mud truck. What is that? Well, I haven't even seen that mud trail before. That's wild. I really want to see how this setup does up one of these hill climbs because these are absolutely nuts. I'm going to drop that suspension down, see if I can take advantage of a slightly lower center of gravity. Wow, this thing is already ripping up some of these hills. Oh, nope, hold on. Did not get the momentum right at all. Oh, 
High range back down to automatic actually worked. Come on. Oh, that's, that's definitely not gonna work. I'm gonna need to go from first, second to high. No, I, wow. I don't think you even have enough room to get it into high right here. No, that was third. It almost did. Bro, it almost did it. It almost did what I was trying to get it to do. Oh, it went. Yes. I'm not giving up on that. We were right there. Bro, I never lifted. I literally went for the winch line and did not lift. I know it's a little bit damaged now, but eh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Now, in terms of where you could find this truck, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can find this thing on Frog's Patreon. It's an absolutely incredible build, and there's a bunch of different versions of it. There's not only the mud truck version, but obviously, you know, the street version, the solid axle version, the crawler version, the SEMA truck version. All of these different versions of this truck are available in that pack, but absolute beast of a rig. I had an awesome time bring it, bringing it out here to the mud pit, and hope you guys had as much fun watching as I, as I did driving it. Now, I don't know why I was, like, stumbling over myself right there in the outro. It happens every once in a while, but hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you all later.